Let's take a look through the new lab on mechanical and chemical digestion. This lab is focused on exploring the effects of mechanical and chemical digestion on the breakdown of the macronutrients, carbohydrates, protein, and lipids. Students begin the lab with a few questions about the process of digestion, such as how macronutrients break down into monomer units and the range of enzymes that aid in chemical digestion for each particular macronutrient. This is a test tube-based lab that provides many opportunities for students to practice scientific skills like taking accurate measurements with scales and pipettes and following complex experimental setup protocols. In order for the lab to be completed in a three-hour period, the lab has been designed so that each lab group completes one hands-on experiment on a single macronutrient and the class pools data on all macronutrients at the end of the lab. Each macronutrient has a setup page, an activity page, and an analysis page. While waiting for a water bath incubation between the activity and analysis, each group will carry out virtual experiments on the other two macronutrients. On the setup page, students are asked to clearly label their test tubes and pipettes. For carbohydrates, students are asked to grind fresh corn with a mortar and pestle to simulate mechanical digestion. The warning on this activity page lets students know they will be working with strong acids and bases and then walks them through filling their test tubes with the appropriate digestive treatments being sure to set up the appropriate controls. Now that they've set up their experiment, they are asked to predict and rate the importance of mechanical and chemical digestion on their food substance and explain the rationale. While their test tubes incubate for an hour in a water bath, Students complete virtual exercises that cover the two macronutrients they did not experiment with in the lab. This allows students to become familiar with the experiments and analysis questions that other lab groups are working through. These pages show how the experiment was set up for each of the other macronutrients, explains how the indicator molecule was used to detect the digested molecules, then asks students to make a prediction for this food substance, and score example test tube solutions using the indicator scale. Students then relate the indicator scores to the digestive treatments and compare and contrast the results of their mechanical only, chemical only, and combined mechanical and chemical treatments for both alternate macronutrients. After an hour has elapsed and the students have completed the virtual exercises, Students will complete the analysis on their own set of experimental test tubes before combining data with their classmates. On this final analysis page, students will review key questions and compare the digestive treatments and their importance for digestion of carbohydrates, protein, and lipids. All students are given the opportunity to refine their understanding of bile salts in the role of digestion of lipids. To end the lab, Students complete a review and integration page, which reviews key concepts and applies the knowledge they learned in the lab to new and novel scenarios. We hope you and your students enjoy simulating and exploring the digestive processes in the lab. If you want to ensure your students arrive at this lab prepared, be sure to have them complete the associated pre-lab prep. This supportive lesson is meant to be completed ahead of the lab to set students up for success. It checks their background knowledge relevant to the lab, gets them thinking about equipment and taking accurate measurements, and brings awareness to common problems to help students troubleshoot early on. The pre-lab provides an overview of the procedure so students know what skills they're expected to use and demonstrates what data analysis will be like in the lab by explaining each indicator molecule and asking students to practice rating solution colors as they will in the lab. The lab and pre-lab prep are ready to use, but can be completely customized to suit the needs of your classroom. We hope you check them out.